Today's story is Infinity Gauntlet. Our epic tale begins with Thanos, the powerful mad titan. Thanos basically went through the biggest goth phase as a teenager and then never grew out of it. You see, Thanos is in love with Mistress Death, and yes, she is the physical personification of death itself. To prove his love for Mistress Death, Thanos has done every evil, diabolical thing imaginable. He has wiped out his entire family, conquered his whole planet, and probably answered his cell phone at the movie theater. Thanos has been defeated in the past by Earth's mightiest heroes, but Mistress Death resurrects Thanos for a very special task, eliminating half the life in the universe. Thanos is pretty stoked about the new job, and to achieve this monumental task, he goes on a quest to obtain the six Infinity Gems, powerful cosmic artifacts that, when worn on the incredibly stylish Infinity Gauntlet, give their holder the powers of a god. We'll break it down with some theoretical examples. Let's say you're fighting Spider-Man. With the Space Gem, you can move anywhere in the universe instantaneously, so you can throw Spider-Man into a black hole and read up on dating tips across the universe at the same time. With the Mind Gem, you can probe the depths of a person's brain and find out all of Spider-Man's secret thoughts. With the Soul Gem, you can change the very essence of a person and turn Spider-Man into a cannibal ballerina. With the Time Gem, you can reverse time and turn Spider-Man into Spider-Infant. With the Reality Gem, you can turn Spider-Man into a cupcake. And the Power Gem is extra juice to make all the other gems more powerful. Thanos goes out and steals each gem from some cosmic bigwigs, the Inbetweener, the Champion of the Universe, the Gardener, the Collector, Runner, and the Grand Master. Once Thanos collects all of the gems, he goes straight to Mr. Death, rocking the bling of ultimate death. Thanos reveals his true intentions. He is obtained the Infinity Gauntlet so he can be Death's equal and her boyfriend. But instead of being impressed, Mistress Death is just mad at Thanos for collecting the gems behind her back. Thanos recruits the demon Mephisto to be his wingman, a literal devil on his figurative shoulder. And then he does everything he can to win Mistress Death back. He creates a giant space temple to honor her, and then brings his dead granddaughter Nebula back to life as a creepy gross zombie. He even creates a sexy female Thanos named Taraxia to try and make Death jealous. Meh. Nah. Finally, Thanos does the job that Mr. Seth wanted him to do in the first place. He snaps his fingers and erases half the life in the universe. Hmm. Meh. At this point, the mysterious Adam Warlock, who is basically a glam rock space wizard, gathers all of the superheroes still alive for an all-out assault on Thanos, Doctor Strange, the Hulk, Thor, the Silver Surfer, Spider-Man, Captain America, Iron Man, and basically every remaining 90s Marvel superhero joins the fight. Even Doctor Doom decides to help out the heroes. Thanos prepares to obliterate all of the heroes with the powers of an omnipotent god. The heroes have absolutely no chance. That is, until Mephisto steps in. Hey, just a wingman tip. Women don't like dudes who win everything too easily. They don't? Yeah, you're all knowingness, you're all seeingness, y you gotta dial it down. Well, I guess that makes sense. Of course it does. Wait, this isn't some sort of trick to weaken me so you can betray me later, right? Come on, do I look like the kind of guy who would deceive anyone? Even in a less powerful state, Thanos kicks the collective tuchus of every hero in like two seconds. Hmm, hmm. Meh. Then the big guns show up. Galactus, Kronos, and a bunch of other funky-looking space gods. These are the most powerful beings in the universe, and they've come to deliver the biggest takedown of all time. To add insult to injury, even Mistress Death joins the attack on Thanos. I'm just not that into you. Why can't you take a hint? Hey guys, am I too late to join the fight? I'm on your side now. Bet no one saw that coming. Thanos defeats all of the cosmic entities, and now there is only one being that stands in Thanos' way. Eternity, the living embodiment of the entire universe. Thanos and Eternity face off in a battle that shakes the entire multiverse. Thanos comes out victorious and takes Eternity's place as the one true god of the Marvel Universe, leaving his physical body defenseless. And that's when Zombie Nebula makes her move. She grabs the Infinity Gauntlet away from Thanos' body and unzombifies herself. Nebula is super pissed off about the whole being a zombie thing, and she brings everyone back to life, except for Sexy Lady Thanos. Sexy Lady Thanos is dead. But Nebula doesn't get to enjoy being God for very long. All of the cosmic entities gang up on Nebula in a barrage of limitless power. Nebula defeats them, but while she's distracted, Adam Warlock uses his space wizard powers to tear the gauntlet away from Nebula, and he becomes the glam rock space god of ultimate power. Thanos escapes punishment by faking his own suicide, and then he goes to live on a farm. But don't worry. Thanos will be back. He just needs a little R&R before his next universe-threatening scheme.